Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Odin Sun from the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Thor box set. So this is actually a really pretty cool figure. Uh, it's definitely interesting to see Thor in this, you know, how he is now. Um, but I really like the tattered cape. I think that looks awesome. I really like the destroyer light arm, I mean. Um, and the little, you know, paint details again on this guy are really nice. So let me finish up his 360 and we'll go ahead and check out those details. Alright guys, so first off, like always, we'll go ahead and start off with the accessory he comes with. It comes with this axe, which looks really good. I really like the wood, again, the wood graining on the handle looks really nice. It does have a little wrap here. Which is like a dark gray with little silver uh, rings around the edge here. And the blade looks really cool. I like the little uh, sculpt work on the top. It's got a nice little sharp spiky thing right there on the front. A little spike on the back. The blade looks nice and clean like it's he's just got it. There's no really no um, scuffs or chips or anything on it. Which looks like a brand new blade just besides the swirling there or the indent of the plastic mold. But... Looks really cool. I really, I just really like those engravings. I think that looks really nice. And now we'll get into Odin's son. Uh, his head sculpt looks really cool. I mean, he's very um, serious looking. You see? But look at those eyes. Eh, the one little right eye is kind of droopy, huh? Looking off to the side. What do you guys think? Uh, overall, not too bad. Um, they look really good, actually. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got more of a dark yellow, you know, eyebrows there, but the beard looks awesome, I think. I really like how this beard turned out. It's got the nice dark yellow underneath, and they put the light uh, paint swatching on top. It's really cool. And I like the way his hair kind of swirly, and you kind of, it's kind of very pliable, little bangs there. <laughs> but it does have that, you know, nice dark yellow uh, paint applications mixed in there to give it that more depth. Looks really cool. Very cool. On the cape here, he's got a little emblem on the front here. It's painted silver, and it's got some more of the dark black that kind of goes into the red, which gives it that more textured look. But I really like how tattered it is. I think this looks cool with all the holes and rips, and yeah, it just looks all you know beat up. Looks really cool, but I do like the black mixed into the dark red. I think that looks really nice, like it's been burned. Very cool. And this destroyer arm looks awesome. This kind of does tend to fall down. You can just see it's just been painted on his uh, upper bicep there. And you just got the little keep pushing it up. It's very pliable again. And this destroyer arm looks really cool. It's got the nice rivets and everything on this lower part of the arm. And the way the handle is got that little armored plate right down the front. Which is very cool. I think that looks awesome. Which just makes it unique to the... Actually, this whole figure is different to me than the one that's going to be normally coming out. Which we'll, I'll definitely compare once I get them. Uh, right hand, right arm is just uh, skin tone. He's got the little... I guess I call it a wrap or a gauntlet. Looks like a wrap to me. But it's just a nice uh, light brown. You can just kind of see the little straps going around. It's got a little... Got some hair on the chest. Not so much on the stomach, just the chest. And this awesome belt, piece of rope tied in a knot, but it looks really good. And this is just, you know, pliable again. Even the rope's a little pliable because you can pull on it. But it's actually it's kind of funny. The rope has got part of the pants attached to it, but you can't really tell when it's just sitting still. Very cool. And you've seen these legs before, but it's just the same uh, black legs on the plastic, but the same little boot look on from Thor that we've seen. Jeez. Oh, that's a long time ago. Uh, which wave was that? I'm, I might be Terax? It's been a while. But I know they used to also, in the Comic-Con exclusive back in 2011, I believe. 2011, 2010, around there. In the Thor. And then he's got these nice uh, light gray wraps around the front of his shin and along the ankles. And then just the same flat black kind of boots. Alright, so we'll get in the articulation. His head looks up. It's, his hair does hinder it from looking up too much. About that much. He looks down that much. They're left and right, no problems. Got ball joints in the arms. Wow, mine's like sealed. There we go. Wow, really clicky. It makes me a little nervous. Yeah, that makes me nervous. That's really tight. Hmm. Okay, rotates. 
I'm gonna pause it because I'm gonna try to fix that. All right, guys, so I fixed it. Just need to kind of grip it a little better and kind of push it down slowly. Um, it felt like, I don't know, mine's got kind of, I can't tell if this is just mine. If anyone else that has this guy, is there like a gap like this? I can't tell if, the, I mean, I pushed on it to see if the peg was all the way in. It feels like it is, but it just feels like there's kind of a gap compared to, and I guess the other side's kind of like that too. Anyway, got upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Just don't want to break my figure. Uh, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. And he's got a nice ab crunch. Crunch is really far over, like, you can just, like he's been punched in the gut. Oh, and he crunches back. And waist swivel, there we go. Kicks forward, pretty good. And spreads pretty far. Got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. That looks a little funny, I know. Uh, no boot rotation, cause just because of the way the shins are. Goes down, they move up. And he does have nice ankle rockers, and ankles are really nice and tight, which is always good. And peg also on his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Odin's son is. All right, guys, so Odin's son stands right at a little, just about, just a hair under seven inches tall. And to show you that he does hold the axe really well. And I just, actually it's not super well, but it's pretty good. Um, I just slide it in through the top. I don't have to spread his fingers like other guys. But again, very cool figure. Um, still not my favorite, but still a fun figure. I think it looks really nice. Uh, just great paint applications and just overall details is nice. That shoulder peg on mine at least just makes me a little nervous. But otherwise, I have zero complaints on my figure. Joints are great. Paint applications are clean. No derpy eyes. Just overall, another great figure from the set. Can't can't complain. All right, guys. Well, definitely leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great night. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.